Okay, so now we're back at the website itself or the wiki site, and now we're going to look up the schedules. So if we look for schedule example, we do a search on it, and we can look at the schedule and then the example, and then you see EN. So the EN means that it's English. You'll see other, it'll say, I think, FN French and then Spanish and whatnot. So you'll see the different, uh, um, where is the one? Okay, here. So you see that it shows FR, which is French. So now what we want to do is look at the examples in English. So we click that link. And then now let's scroll down to the bottom and now here is the um, plan itself uh, for the schedule so the schedule example so this says test and then that F A or F A H R means drive in German so this is a test drive plan and swap and the swap is it going and uh, uh, changing directions so now if you click on this you can download it once it's downloaded into your uh uh your um into your pc you can double click on it and then you could extract that file and once you extract the file and actually let's do it here so it pulls it in and you can see I've done it twice here. So now once you extract the file, you click the extract, it asks for you where do you want to extract it and you want to put it back into your uh, your directory wherever you installed your rock rail. So let me cancel out here, I don't need to do that. And now let's look at where I have it installed here. And now you see that it says the test and then the uh, drive plan swap. Now, if you, uh, whenever you access the, uh, remember the workspace, you select the directory and then it will load it. So now let's go back here. Let's go back into Rock Rail. And now let's close this out. What we'll do is we'll open a workspace. Let's shut down the server. And then now let's select this uh, folder. So we go in, select that drive folder, and then now it's going to build the um, the plan. So now you can see here's the plan itself. And then now you can see here, let's go to the tables, and then let's pull up the schedule. So now you can see that there's two uh, there's two schedules here. There's a multi-swap and a single swap. And now if we click on that and we open it up, let's go into destination. So here you can see an explanation. Here's the what the schedule uh, is configured as. So you can see that there's block 1, then S2, then F1, then S2, F2, S1, and then 1 again. So now you can see that the action here at 3 is to swap the logical direction. So now when you look at this and move it out of the way, then you can see the blocks. So with this, you're able to go in and kind of uh, do a, um, a stare and compare to find exactly how the schedule is working. Then you can kind of tweak it uh, and and cause things to happen the way that you want uh, want it to. And this is probably the better way or the easiest way, or I shouldn't say the better, it should be the fastest way for you to get up to speed on the, uh, uh, on the schedules. So you can kind of go in and use this method to find different things or different aspects that you want to learn is to pull in the uh, file and then load it, run it, and then kind of play around with it. So hopefully this helps out for you guys and it gives you enough uh, kind of information for you to make a, a fair assessment of rock rail and to see if this is what you, you want. I went through the process and it, I mean, it worked out for me and I really liked it. Now here's something that I just going to show real quick and this right here 
is called the the WIO and it's wireless uh, input output and what you can do with this is you can take a Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi Pico and use the uh, IO ports and you can set it up and the um, as long as you have the um, rock rail set up or connected into a LAN and then the um, or the Wi-Fi and the um, Raspberry Pi uh, Pico dialed into that same Wi-Fi then it can communicate and with that you could turn on lights or you can set those uh, input output um, uh, uh, pins as uh, sensors so you can do all of that and now the Raspberry Pi Pico is like six dollars it has wireless access and what I'll do is I built a board and I used different components and I wired them in so instead of making a uh, PCB I've used uh, perf boards and then wired them in and I'll show you how to do that and then integrate that in on another video so uh, I'll close off here uh, please like subscribe and share and put down in the comments if you want me to clarify something or if you want me to look at something else. But stay tuned for that Y, uh, that W O video, that W I O video. That's going to be something really nice for you guys to see. So take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.